Was Robert Durst involved in a college student's disappearance more than four decades ago? That's what investigators are working to find out. Lynn Schulze vanished in 1971, and police say the eccentric millionaire is linked to her case. Michelle Sagona joins me now. And Michelle, tell us first just about the Lynn Schulze's case. So this case stems all the way back to 1971. Wow. And, you know, Lynn went missing. She was 18 years old, a Middlebury college student in the area. And she was last seen, according to investigators, in front of the all good things health food store. Now, this was a store that Robert Durst had owned at the time. So that's the connection then between Schulze and Durst, or is there something else? You know, we aren't sure the connection yet. I have to be honest. We have reached out to the Middlebury Police Department. They've issued a statement, and it, it's it's a semi lengthy statement. But I think by this evening, hopefully from them, we will learn a little bit more. They say that quote We are aware of the connection between Robert Durst and the disappearance of Lynn. Schulze, and we have been aware of this connection for several years. So, you know, I think that this is something that possibly they may have been working on for a long time, uh, you know, and they're doing their best to add up the facts of the case. Now, whether he is connected or not, we cannot say that for mm -hmm. sure. But what we can say is that Lynn did, in fact, vanish on December 10th, 1971, when she was 18 years old from that area. Okay, so obviously Durst has been in the media for the last week. He's had a lot of publicity with his recent arrest. Are they hoping that this is basically might entice more people to come forward if they know something about the case? I think any time you have national attention brought you know, forth on any kind of case, especially a cold case. It gives the public the opportunity to have another set of eyes on something. It, Lynn's picture is out there now. The case facts are out there now. Police are going to come forward, hopefully with a little more information by the end of the day today, so we can learn, you know, what it, in fact they are investigating. They do say that this is an ongoing criminal investigation and the Middlebury Police Department is not releasing any other details, but hopefully we'll, we'll be able to have just a few more nuggets uh -huh. to work off of. You know, so I think in these types of situations, it's, again, when you have a case like this, more than 40 years old. Yeah, 1971. Any eyes will help. And hopefully, I'm hoping right now that someone's watching and maybe they have information and the Middlebury Police Department is being flooded with calls. All right, Michelle, thank you. Fascinating. We'll, I'm no, we, we know you'll stay on top of it. Appreciate it. Have a good day. And to follow updates on this investigation and for more crime stories, you can head to cbsnews.com slash crimesider.